I just rebuilt one of my 3D video capture spaces uh, using three connects in this particular case. And so I figured I'd do a little video showing just how that looks like uh, when I merge the 3D video from those connects with a virtual scene like this one. Uh, when you look at it up close and also when you look at it from farther away. So here are my very fuzzy looking hands. Uh, before you start complaining about the video quality, keep in mind that I'm looking very up close uh, onto video that is recorded from about almost two meters away from a Kinect that is a fairly low resolution first generation device. Um, it looks a lot better when you're working with it in a remote collaboration context. I'm just going to show you that in a moment. Um, a little bit talking about the environment here. This is a virtual model of an office that was given to me by a friendly architecture firm. And uh, it is just a nice environment to uh, to merge some, some video into. Um, the thing is that this desk here, or this table I should rather say, it just looks really, it looks really solid with a properly calibrated rift. Um, I almost want to rest my hands on it, which of course is a very bad idea because I fall right through. But otherwise the size of the desk is just about, table is just about perfect here. Um, feels really, feels really solid. Almost feel like I can touch it. Um, I, I should say here, if I'm looking down, I see, of course, my legs and I'm sitting on the swivel chair. Let me push back a little bit. Uh, one thing that I noticed while playing around earlier is that, I mean, let's get the cables out of the way. I'm tethered to the main computer running the display via very long cables. Um, as I'm swiveling around, I automatically do, automatically do this, uh, as you can see. Um, it's not really conscious, it's just the way I do it. Of course, you know, the table is not really there, I could easily do that, but it turns out my brain kind of refuses to let me do that. It feels really weird when I do that, so I guess that's <laughs> that's an indicator of presence, using that term. Uh, but let's talk a little bit more about the video. Uh, like I said, up close looks really bad. Let's see what it looks like from a bit further away, so let me just get up here. Um, and now, of course, if I look down here, I'm standing. Uh, the thing is that even though the video is extremely fuzzy, it is funny how your brain kind of accepts it as being your body because it is very low latency. This is not Kinect skeletal reconstruction. This is raw 3D video from the Kinect. Uh, so it is much lower latency than skeleton. Um, and it just, even though it's fuzzy, just because, you know, it recreates all the little folds in my pants and in my shirt and all that, it just looks a lot more real in some respects. Uh, then maybe even a very well done motion captured avatar because it kind of, I think, this is just a hunch, it circumnavigates the uncanny valley, so to speak. Anyway, uh, to get a closer look at the video, um, I'm going to step out of my body real quick. So that's what it looks like from the outside. Very odd feeling, by the way. Um, and so now if I were to place myself at the other end of this conference table, like in a tele-collaboration setting, then of course it doesn't look nearly as bad as it did before. It's still kind of fuzzy. Like I said, this is the first generation Connect. It's just going to get better from here on out. Um, but it clearly is working. Um, the alignment between the connects, let me show you, uh, is, is really quite good. So here we have one of those uh, seams. How do I point this out? Other arm. We have one of those seams that is the, the boundary or the border between two views from the connects. I should mention maybe that uh, one of the connects is uh, more or less over there, the other one is over there, and one is over there. They form uh, an equilateral triangle, approximately, as well as I could set it up. Um, so yeah, like I said, the uh, the video between the different connects merges really quite nicely. If I push the chair out of the way a little bit, let's see, maybe over there, and then look here at the back of my leg, you can see again there's a seam running through right there, um, but it's it merges really quite nicely. My shoes are a little bit borderline, I would say. Um, but otherwise, uh, it works really well. I should mention that uh, the way I'm tethered here is I have the control box for the Rift. Uh, I'm wearing it on a belt. Um, I have very long cables going to the main computer. So I have, an, uh, I think, a 15-foot HDMI cable, an 11-foot USB cable, and I took the power cord that goes to the base station uh, and cut it in half and extended it by 6 feet. That's also about 12 feet long, meaning I have a pretty good range of motion. I can walk around. Um, I'm just dragging this cable with me that is embedded into a cable tunnel. Uh, and of course, right now I have a microphone cable as well that, of course, you would not normally wear. Um, so that is the uh, that is the setup that we have here. I can easily stand up. Right now, of course, it feels very weird not being inside my body. So let me go back into my body. Uh, let me load the view. Here we go. Uh, so now I'm, like I said, standing at the table. Let me get this chair out of the way. And this is uh, is really I can you know walk around the table a little bit. Oops, that was the extent of the cable right there. 
can walk around the table a little bit. Now what I just did, haha, <laughs> the cable just bonked one of the connects, which is why there's now a pretty severe misalignment. Well, that was very, very smart. Um, well, i got to recalibrate that now. So, yeah, it's now tempting to... I need a longer cable, I guess. Anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to talk about. Just the last thing is I wanted to show you the table from underneath because it is just so nicely built right there. Like I said, now I have two hands. Calibration failure. Um, I should maybe use some more sturdy tripods. Anyway, um, until next time.